What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and I welcome you to my very first video tutorial. Um, don't forget to check out www.joshuacasper.com for um, all my blends, mashups, extended mixes, remixes, DJ mixes, and information. Um, it's all for free, so I mean, just go check it out, download what you want, give me some feedback, um, you know, whatever you want to do really. But uh, anyway, this is my first video tutorial and I'm going to be doing it on making a blend or a mashup or a remix or whatever you want to call it uh, here in Ableton Live. We're going to do that by dropping an acapella. In this case, it's Shakira featuring Lil Wayne and Timberland. Give it up to me. We're going to be dropping that acapella over an instrumental. In this case, it's the movie star rhythm. Um, go ahead and download the source files. The link is in the description on the right. And um, once you have that opened, go ahead and open up the Ableton Live project. And this is what you should see. Um, give it up to me clean version. Uh, the give it up to me acapella and the movie star rhythm. Um, I'm not going to be going over a lot of basic stuff like warp markers, what they are, what they do, um, and global BPM versus segment BPM, stuff like that. So if you don't know the basics, you might want to go um, check out some other tutorials first and then come back to this one. But anyway, let's get started. Um, this is the first thing we're going to do is go to the Movie Star Rhythm, which is the Audio 3 track. Um, make sure it's the Movie Star Rhythm is selected and change the segment BPM to 115. That's the original BPM of the track. Um, I've already placed the first warp marker for you. That's the first kick in the, uh, the track. I always do that when I am, um, you know, warping my tracks is I skip over any ambient noises or whatever in the beginning and jump right to the first bass kick because I find that that's the easiest place to find your zero crossing. So um, once you have your first one found, jump to the end of the track and find another kick. Um, you can go ahead and jump to 64.2.3 double click on it and drag it over to your first zero crossing. It's that little line right there. Get it as close as you can. Zoom out and since I didn't have to move 64.2.3 very much, I'm guessing that I don't have to move any of the other ones in between here, but I always go at least one more time near the middle to make sure that, you know, it syncs up all the way through. And I went to 29 right now and sure enough it is pretty much perfect. Um, now I want to keep this ambient noise and I want my um, instrumental to start there when I launch that clip. So what I need to do is double click on this negative four. That changes to tool one. I don't need to move that warp marker any because I hadn't had to move the 33 or the 68 so it's pretty much perfect. And then what I need to do is take my play cursor and drag it over to that one. So that's where it's going to start playing when I um, you know, launch this clip here. Next thing I'm going to do is move over to our acapella. Um, click on it, make sure it's selected, and notice that it's filled with warp markers. And this is Ableton Live trying to automatically warp it out for us. And um, because it's an acapella, it's you know kind of difficult, and it does a horrible job. But it meant well, so you know we still love Ableton. Anyway, select any one of these warp markers by clicking on it. Do Control A on a PC to select all the warp markers and then hit Delete. You're left with one warp marker, probably the one at the beginning. Take it and drag it all the way over to the left. Next thing you need to do is change your segment BPM to the correct BPM, which is 116. Then go to the audio track one and notice that I've already taken care of this for you. Um, you know, to save time on this tutorial, I've already warped it out change the segment BPM to 116. The next thing we need to do before we start recording some stuff is change the project global BPM to 116. This is what our project is going to be exported at um, when we're finished. So I'm going to keep it at the original give it up to me BPM so it doesn't change it too much. Um, so now we're ready to start recording. Hit the record global record button and launch the first scene. Scene number one. That's all you need to record um, for now. Just click over here or hit tab to switch from the live view to the session view. Expand your second audio track. Click on the Give It Up To Me acapella 
and take your end cursor and move it all the way to the end. And then do the same for the Give It Up To Me original. Bam. Zoom out a little bit. And then um, what we're going to do now is we're going to start syncing up the acapella to the original. And the best way to do that is to mute the acapella for now and play the original to see where the vocals start. Okay, so it starts playing a little bit after the third bar. So click on the Give It Up To Me acapella to select the whole thing and then drag it over to the third where it starts at the third bar. And go ahead and play well, after you turn it on, go ahead and play and see how close it is. So you can hear that it, it's close, but not nearly close enough. So now we need to, you know, do some finite um, stuff here to get it linked up perfectly, synced up perfectly. The Give It Up To Me original, if you mute the acapella again, has a part where Little Wayne goes acapella for a second. So if you listen here, start playing here at 19 bars. Now give it to me, I want the best, and the best things in life are free. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to, to sync up our acapella with our original, um, with just the vocals. So if you zoom in a little bit, this is where he's singing acapella, and you can see that these are, you know, exactly the same because they are just vocals. Next thing you do is make sure you're selected on Give It Up To Me acapella, zoom in to where the one is, your one warp marker and slide it to the right slowly and what be watching up here not down here be watching up here to make sure um, you line up the this visually you don't even have to be listening to it so keep sliding it over until it's perfect you can zoom in as much as you want and just be watching the waves and bam Slide out, and this should be pretty much ready to go. So go ahead and play, um, you know, from the third bar just to see what it sounds like. And that's both of them playing, and you can't even tell that that is an acapella on top of the original. Um, what I always do is go to somewhere near the end just to make sure that, you know, everything lines up still. It should because they're both playing at 116 BPMs and it's a fairly new track. So uh, it, you know, it should play out. Some of the older tracks um, are horrible and you have to go through and change, you know, put a lot of different markers in on your acapella and to link it up and stuff. But fairly new tracks are all pretty, pretty commonly good to use. But anyway, moving on, um, just find a spot and hit play like you can see visually these look the same so just hit play and make sure it still sounds good still sounds pretty good but just go ahead and zoom in and just you know look for visual clues like um, right here pretty pretty close so um, if you take like the 65 down here and pull it over and just get it kinda Kind of good to go. Um, I lost track of where we were, but oh, if you come out a little bit, there it is. So, just kind of get it, get it the same. Um, you know, you're working with acapella and instruments now, so they're not going to look exactly the same. But just get it close. I mean, play it, make sure it sounds good. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? To me, a problem tonight. Tonight, give it up. Maybe that give it up would be a good place. And it's pretty close. What I did there was just took this part right here and just I'm trying to get it as close as I can. And that looks pretty good right there. So um, we're our acapella is synced up. Now the hard part is pretty much over.